Hello, ladies and gents. Today, we are talking about some good old-fashioned Roblox drama. And, well, I was browsing the Twitter community for Roblox, and I stumbled upon a tweet by a lovely gentleman named Zionic underscore 778. And it's basically him ranting about how the UGC split is very unfair. And from what I see, I completely agree with him. I've been an active member in the Roblox community for a very long time. I've been playing since 2008, and I had no real understanding on how the market worked. It's just something I never really put time into. Sure, I made it close here and here, but I never really focused on that. Because it's just not my skill set. I'm horrendous at Blender. The only thing I'm really good at is doing a silly little drawing in MS Paint. But that's where my skills stop. But the people who are actually are creative and can make some really outstanding stuff in Blender for the UGC program on Roblox are getting completely messed over. And the more I read about it, the more it got worse and worse for Roblox, and it kind of left a really bad taste in my mouth. And genuinely, I'm just kind of disappointed in Roblox for doing this. The issue that stems from this is when someone purchases the item, is where that Robux go to. Through this absolutely beautiful, nice graph, I'm a big fan of graphs, it can kind of break down on where that Robux goes after someone purchases that UGC. And so there's two categories here. First, we have the in-game purchase, is so when someone buys a UGC inside a game kind of think like catalog avatar or some sort of like donation game so right off the bat you can see that the creator will receive 30 percent of that purchase the person who spent hours designing modeling and actually creating the item that someone actually wanted to buy they only get 30 percent i don't see how that makes sense but okay then you have the affiliate which is the person who made that map that item was purchased in and they will receive a whopping 40 percent of that purchase and of course, Roblox needs to make their money, I understand, so they'll take 30% of that purchase. The main issue with this situation is how the affiliate is making more money than the actual person who put the time, effort into creating that given UGC. The affiliate makes 10% more than the person who created the goddamn thing. And the funniest thing about this whole situation is that most people create their own shop map and put the UGCs that they want to buy in there so they can get the thing for 40% off. So it's not even helping funding creativity or even helping people find that given item. It's a massively abused system that it needs a complete rework and reimagine how this whole system works. And this issue isn't only for in-game purchases, it's also for in-game market push. And again, the creator is only receiving 30% of that given purchase, and now Roblox is the affiliate because they own the marketplace, they kind of show it to you on the front page of the Roblox website, but they're also still taking their 30% cut. So they're taking the 40% affiliate fee and the 30% cut, leaving the UGC creator, the person who actually put all the effort and all the work and the imagination into that product, is still only getting 30%. So regardless if it's in-game or on the marketplace, the UGC creator is getting absolutely destroyed. The only way you're going to be making real money as a UGC creator is by making a UGC that a lot of people want to buy, but also making a map that people will play to buy your given item. If you're not the affiliate and the creator, at the same time, you're basically making pennies and you're throwing away money and burning it all to the ground. There isn't any real reason to put time and effort into UGCs. I know there's a market for it, but your time is better worth into something else. Why spend hours on end 3D modeling a creative UGC when you can just make pants and shirts that will sell probably even better and will make you a lot more money? Classic shirts and pants on Roblox have a little bit of a different, like, uh, payout ratio. Instead of only taking 30% of the income for UGCs, for shirts and pants, it's a whopping 70%. You're literally making more than two times the amount of money, the, well, the amount of Robux, creating classic shirts and classic pants. If I was the creative type, I would completely sew away from creating uh, UGCs and probably put most of my time into making classic pants and shirts, or I would make a really good shop map or some sort of game to kind of like co-sell my UGCs so I actually make some like real money with it. And if you're a creator who's doing neither of those, you're basically wasting your time and wasting your money. I'm sorry, but it's honestly the truth. Roblox is absolutely screwing you over and it's I mean, it kind of disgusting, honestly, guys. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry. I have Roblox. <laughs> Come on, this needs to change, guys. Come on. Roblox, I know you need to make money, but your company is literally nothing without the community. If you don't take care of the community, the community will not take care of you. Stop punishing the people who make your platform special. 
Without them, your platform is literally nothing. But what do you think? Should UGC creators make more money than they're currently making? Let me know down in the comments and make sure you guys like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.